One problem that's common to both cultivation and no tillage is maintaining a constant seed depth. But no tillage doesn't get the opportunity to smooth the ground. Therefore, no tillage opus must have an extraordinary ability to follow the ground surface. Nothing matches crosslot in that regard. We developed two separate but complementary electrohydraulic systems that work in harmony. Together they provide the most sophisticated seeding depth control system ever developed. We used individual hydraulic cylinders to push the openers down because these maintain the same downforce throughout their entire stroke length. Then we mounted the openers on parallelogram linkages so that all angles remained constant. And we gave the openers a pair of adjustable press wheels for positive location on the soil surface. Finally, we gave the system about 40 centimetres or 16 inches of vertical travel, knowing that the downforce would remain constant throughout the stroke length. This is about twice as much as any other opener. Well, that took care of surface humps and hollows, but soil hardness often varies in an untilled soil, regardless of surface smoothness. Tillage evens that out. No tillage doesn't. So that makes seeding depth control for no tillage even more demanding. So we invented an electronic system called ADF. It continuously measures soil hardness as the openers travel along and adjusts the downforce on each opener to match. It samples 10 times per second and adjusts 3 times per second. Without ADF, depth of seeding is affected by changes in soil hardness. With ADF, the system compensates, ensuring that seeds remain at a constant depth regardless of changes in soil hardness. This way, the operator knows that the openers will always be pushed into the ground with just the right amount of downforce while faithfully following every hump and hollow. This is the most sophisticated seeding depth control system in existence. On our place here we have a variety of, of soils and soil profiles to deal with. They, like they just vary so much even in one block, even on, on one field we may end up with um, like there's so many different um, challenges that the drill has to cope with and like it may be humps, hollows, wet, dry, clay, soil, um, hard, soft, there could be all sorts of uh, vehicle tracks, you know, compaction, that sort of thing. So um, the drill's got to be able to cope with them instantly in a one pass system. So, and the cross lot is just magnificent at doing that because of its ability, the ability to control depth and pressure on the go.